I finally played Crazy Taxi for the first time the other day. Oh my goodness gracious. Great game and all. But I stopped to think, when was the last time I, or anyone, has seen a taxi? So as a game developer, I thought, how can I upgrade Crazy Taxi to conform to the modern times? So I put Crazy Taxi, Uber, and I combined them into Crazy Driver. Uh -huh. See what I did there? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I sought to make a game that mimicked Crazy Taxi's weird driving physics, along with the modern Uber way of picking up passengers. The way it was going to work was that you have a phone that pops up with a passenger along with the information of the passenger and so you would then go and pick up the passenger and deliver them within the time period Bruh. so of course i used unity for this project the best engine ever i'm just kidding maybe and if i'm being honest i actually started this game off with the idea of being a bus but i just could not get that bus to feel like an arcadey kind of bus so I pivoted into making my own custom car physics from this awesome tutorial series I found on YouTube. So the way it works is that on every wheel of the vehicle, it shoots a ray cast downwards and checks the distance of the top of the wheel to the ground. And with this, we can apply physics that propels the car upwards depending on the length of the car to the floor. <laughs> And so after the suspension physics were done, I also implemented what's known as Ackerman steering, Nani? which lets the vehicle steer by placing a point next to the vehicle in the direction that we want to steer towards and performing some nice trigonometry mathematics to rotate the vehicle over the point and give it the impression that it is steering in a certain direction. But thanks to this tutorial series, it really helped me understand the basics of car physics. And so you're probably wondering why I have a taxi if we are mimicking an Uber game. And it's because unfortunately, the taxi driver had to retire because his job was taken over by the Ubers. So he still has the taxi car, but now he has to do Uber because no one's getting in his taxi anymore. R.I.P. It was finally time to put our little taxi driver I mean Uber driver, I mean driver, I don't want to get sued, in a map so we can actually see how the car drives. And for that, I used Cinti's awesome town asset and I just dragged it in. I added some colliders so the car wouldn't fall off the map into the void. And I gotta say it looks pretty neat so far. <gasps> After that, I added actual game logic so we can have a game, you know, the important part. So I made this little phone UI that pops up ever so often with a passenger along with the distance and the time needed to pick the passenger up. And I also added some UI for the five star ratings along with how much money the player had accumulated. And now it's finally time to put little characters on our scene so we can pick them up. And for that, I used these cool little pixel-like characters called nouns, which I got from a site called 3dnouns.com. And it's really cool. You can customize the character as you want. They have a variety of different heads, glasses, pants, and they're all CCO. So copyright free, you can use them in any commercial game. And so I customized some different noun characters and they look really cute. And when I was satisfied, I downloaded them, which downloads a GLTF file and imported them into Unity. Unfortunately, I realized that the downloaded models aren't properly rigged. So after searching through the GitHub repository of this project, I found the base model, which was properly rigged. And so then I wrote a little Unity tool that takes the base character and swaps out the textures for the character that you downloaded so that now your character is properly rigged in Unity. And the link for this is in the description and it was my first ever Unity tool that I've written. So it's not great, but I actually had a lot of fun figuring out how that worked. But there was one rather big problem. <gasps> now it's time to figure out how I was going to spawn these characters on the map because I wanted them to spawn in once the game is played and in random locations throughout the map. 
so that each time you play the game, it's unique. So I used Unity's nav mesh system to painfully construct the nav mesh of the city so that the characters could only walk on the roads. And it did take a long time because there's a lot of overlapping objects on the scene. And so I had to mark the areas with the buildings as not walkable and the areas of the roads as walkable. There's also something called nav mesh obstacles and you can assign that to objects which marks them as an obstacle on the path and basically carves out that area so that the nav mesh AI agents can't walk on that area. After this was done, I was able to spawn the little AI characters onto the scene and even give them some AI so that they are either idle for some amount of time or they walk to a random location near them, which works by casting a sphere near the character and then selecting a random point on the sphere and then having that nav mesh agent travel to that location. And I hate to admit, but the hardest part of the mechanics here was actually the little arrow on top of the car, similar to Crazy Taxi, where it tells you where the passenger is located in with the arrow. And that's how you know where you need to go. So it was a very important feature. And that's when I had to start working with Quaternions. And oh my God, whatever I have to work with Quaternions, it's just madness, pure madness. So it was hard because I really couldn't put the arrow as a child of the car because it would then be influenced by its rotation. So I then found out this cool Unity component called position and rotation constraints. And so I put the arrow as a normal game object with no parent. I added a position constraint, created an empty game object as a child of the taxi slash driver, and that would act as the pivot for the arrow. And so now the arrow would stay in place in front of the taxi. And now I can use the quaternion mathematics <laughs> to now rotate it in the direction of the passenger. And that took an unnecessarily large amount of time now it was time to make the world a little more lively because we have these cars kind of just sitting here and that's not how a city should look especially in crazy taxi all the cars were moving so this was another challenge that i had to overcome i really didn't want to use unity's nav mesh agents on all the cars because there were already a lot of little nouns characters spread all over the map and nav mesh agents take computational power and I wanted to build this to WebGL and to mobile devices. So I programmed my own little AI algorithm and each car has a list of waypoints that they need to follow. And the car travels towards a waypoint and once it reaches that waypoint, it starts to go towards the next waypoint. And the car rotates towards the direction of the waypoint it's currently moving towards. And so I had to go through every car and assign waypoints to them manually. And I must say this isn't the best option, obviously, because now the cars kept crashing into each other with no regard to the other cars. <laughs> it's like a free for all out here <laughs> on trying to get to their destination. So to fix that, I implemented a little ray cast in front of the vehicle. So now the vehicle checks if there's anything in front. Essentially, if there's another car in front of it, then it will stop until that car has gone. And so that means it just won't just crash right into the car and be like, get out of my way. This is my road. I need to get to my waypoint in this weird matrix simulation where I don't really have a purpose because I'm an NPC. Okay. And well, after that, the main mechanics were done and I just spent a lot of time polishing and fixing bugs and making it nice. And I also added post-processing because what else are you supposed to do to make a game look nice, right? <laughs> Don't quote me on that. And I also added a leaderboard, which I used this cool tool online that I found. And as a last little thing, I also added ragdolls to the noun characters because what's more fun than running over characters in a game? There's nothing. There's nothing. And so the final product after a week and a half of working on this, I was going to do it in one or two days. Of course, that didn't happen. That's okay. I think it came out great. And I hope you think so too, because you can play it in the description. There's a link. This is how it turned out.
And so yeah, let me know what you think of the little game in the description below. I hope you enjoyed it. It'll also be on Android and Google Play. So you can be reminded on how taxis don't exist anymore every time you open the phone. <laughs> Work on my jokes 2023 resolution. And so I hope you enjoyed this video because you should have. And if you didn't, then I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out. And subscribe and like. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.